Okay, um, good morning everyone. Welcome to the second section. Um, sorry there's no break between two sections, so um, please uh, bear with us. Uh, hi, uh, my name is Hang Nguyen from uh, Asia, uh, SCI Asia Center. Um, so uh, the, the second section today is about vulnerability, resilient adaptation to environmental risk. Um, I would uh, like to introduce uh, our panel today. Uh, uh, Magnus Benzi, I hope I spell that. Uh, can you just quickly um, stand up, wave, hi, yeah. Uh, yeah, could you come over here and probably present, uh, prepare your presentation? Uh, Magnus is uh, the research fellow in Stockholm uh, 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 Center. He, his background is um, political science and policy, and he has eight years working on adaptation issues. Uh, the second uh, member of our panel today is, is Naila Martin. She's not here with us today, but she sent a video uh, presentation. She's a research fellow in York uh, Center. She uh, uh, worked on um, uh, poverty uh, inequality and justice in, uh, in, in Asia, Eastern, uh, South, uh, Eastern and South Asia, uh, South Africa and uh, Europe. Um, the third member of our uh, panel today is Toma, uh, Frank Tomala. Um, he's, uh, he's a senior research fellow in Asia and um, his background on oceanic and uh, environment science. He's an expert in vulnerability adaptation and uh, resilience in coastal zone. Um, and um, he actually is a lead of a uh, disaster resilient initiative uh, is an initiative, uh, a SEIY initiative, which aim to, uh, to, to improve the quality of uh, integrated research in SEI with the aim that in the next five years, the quality of uh, SEI research, uh, uh, um, uh, SEI would become a leading and the most compelling research organization in in, uh, um, in, in, in disaster re resilient. Um, the um, Haro uh, Van Assel, I'm sorry, <laughs> sorry if I say it right. Okay, uh, Haro is a postdoctor fellow with uh, the North Star, North Star Center of Excellence. And he's uh, with uh, his um, background on international climate policy. Um, and he's also the editor of the journal called Review of European Comparative and International Environment Law. Um, uh, Babette Resurrection is not with us today, and I'm going to present on her behalf. She's uh, uh, the research fellow in Asia Center, and her Sorry. Okay. <laughs> okay. Now I would give the. Oh. Okay. So <laughs> quickly, and uh, uh, Babette is uh, the doctor. Uh, uh, he's uh, he do the master and doctor on um, on development study, and she uh, doing a lot of work on gender, livelihood, migration, and uh, natural resource management. And she was uh, the former associate professor with um, on on gender and development study in uh, Asian uh, Institute of Technology. Uh, did I introduce myself yet? Okay. <laughs> okay. Uh, again, uh, my name is Hang Nguyen. I'm, I'm joined uh, SCI Asia for two months, and uh, I, I, I've been working on, on um, gender, community development, livelihood, uh, and natural management uh, for yeah, 10 years. Uh, now I would like to give the floor to Magnus, uh, and he's going to introduce very uh, interesting, compelling um, uh, initiative on uh, alternative global mapping system, which are uh, using um, SCI MRO, which is multiple region input and output model to access the exposure to indirect impact of climate change, which actually challenge the concept that uh, it's actually just poor country which is vulnerable to climate change, but indeed, Developed country is also suffering, and 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 uh, they they um, they need to do more on adaptation. Uh, over to you. <laughs> 